there guys, Bilbo10000 here bringing you episode 5 of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In this episode, we're entering Canalet Castle. So, first things first, let's head to the left, and let's battle some Dark Nuts. Now the Dark Nuts themselves, not too difficult. These fairies, or well, not fairies, these anti-fairies, a little more difficult. So, basically there is actually a way to kill these enemies, and it's kind of cool how you do it. You sprinkle magic powder on them, they burst into flames, and they always... Well, they apparently were meant to always give a fairy if you kill them, but they didn't, which was very sad. So, the wiki lied to me. Okay, well this guy, much easier than the other guy, because you know, unless you have a shield, you're pretty much useless this game. So, let's kill these guys. Step on that, let's see what it does. It sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Yay! Of that, I guess we can just head up. That was pretty simple. So, let's go. Woohoo! So, we're in the next location. I want to take this guy out, so I'm going to do that. Is it this guy that it said you could take out? Or no, it wasn't this guy. Okay, it was something else. So, what we need to do is we actually need to bomb one of these. We need to bomb this because it reveals an actual enemy. Yes, secret enemy and golden leaf number four. Very helpful. So, after that, we've done pretty good. So, we're gonna need to, okay, we need to continue along in this pathway and soon we're going to reach a pretty decently strong enemy, but that's in a little while, so. There's the strong enemy. That's got the last. That guy's got the last leaf. Naturally, he has. He looks badass. So of course he has to have the last leaf. So first things first. There's not really much you can actually do. So just you know, go go through here. All right. So what we have to do in this room is actually something that most people probably wouldn't think. You need to actually pick up a pot and throw it at the door. That's how you open it. And then it's time to beat this guy. Just keep slashing at him, eventually he will die. You'll get the final gold leaf. And, well, that's pretty much it. So now you can leave. <laughs> now we can just leave the castle, because there's literally no need to stay here anymore. So, now that we can leave, and we can go to Richard and be all like, Yeah, we got your leaves. Well, it's time to just backtrack. Pretty simple. It's a small castle, actually, now you think about it, and there's no beds. So, it's a bit interesting. All right, head down here. Head down this way. Bit sad that all the servants went a little insane, but you know, it happens sometimes. Sometimes your servants just, you know, they go fucking mad. So before we go to Richard's villa, we actually do have a few things that we need to do. First things first, we need to go to the seashell shrine. So we need to go down three screens, right and then up. So one, two, three, to the right here and then we go upwards one. The seashell shrine, if you haven't guessed it, is where we actually end up giving in our secret seashells, so it's actually a fairly important location. And there is also some secret stuff here that you can actually get, like there is a hidden seashell in this sort of area. So first things first, let's show how many seashells we have. Well, we've got a present. You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. So, we have six secret seashells, which is pretty damn helpful. Okay, so we can exit that, and there's actually another seashell hidden just to the right of this place. Okay, this, come, 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 okay, thank you. Okay, so if you come over here and you just slash up the bushes, there is actually a secret seashell right here. Oh, that was a narrow miss right there. So, now we need to go a different location. So, we need to go back this way, and this time we need to go downwards. Lot of enemies here. It's kind of creepy actually now that I look at it, but you know, we can deal with it. So, once we're in here, apparently we need to find a certain location here, this lone stone. Alright, so let me just quickly get this out, because we're going to have to lift up the stone. Lift that up, we got another seashell, which is pretty damn helpful. And there's even a little illustration of Link finding this one, which is kind of cute. So, 
Now, there's apparently a cave around here that we can enter. So, let's head down this way? No. There was a lady in there, by the way. Ah, this cave. We need to enter this cave. Enter here. Oh, that wasn't even a... Damn, that was a sneaky little... Excuse me, sneaky little enemy. Alright, you need to die. Okay, you're not dying. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, we need to get a bomb. And we need to bomb the wall here. Do that, and good things will happen. Basically, it reveals a secret location with a slightly dangerous uh, path to get to. So, we enter here, we can come through the cave, and, you know, it's a bit interesting. I actually... Hmm, okay. So what we need to do... We need to somehow get back that way. That one can't be pushed, that's actually kind of bad. Okay, so we need to go this way, and then we move ourselves around. So we're trying to get back around to where we were. And then we need to get out of the cave. So, hmm. We need to push this one, then this one, and then we can go. Can we go this way? Is there anything over here that we need? I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna try digging here, because I'm not actually sure. Rupees. Okay, well, no, that's, that's kind of... This is what happens. So, we leave the cave. Okay. Once we're outside the cave, we've got some weird enemies here, so I'm a little bit concerned. We do need the Rock Feather to actually defeat them, so... Because we must jump when we attack, otherwise we can't hurt them. And we're almost dead. Okay, moving. Out the way. Okay. Uh, that was kind of terrifying. So, basically... We need to... Go up. Oh, great. Some of these. Okay. And we're... Oh, I forgot about the medicine. Okay. I thought we were dead. Okay, well, instead, what we can do is we can dig here. Or here. Or here. Or here. There's a seashell. That's all we came up here for. That's what we needed to do. So... Now we can basically just kind of go back around, so... What we need to do is we need to go back through the cave. We're also collecting a lot of cool seashells, which is good. Okay, these guys are really obnoxious. Okay, what we need to do now is we can head back this way, do this, and it's basically a quick way back. We can just jump down. Head across that way, jump out this way. I wonder what's down here. I actually didn't check. Oh, there's a way out, so... Where does it take us? It takes us down here. I don't know if this is where we're meant to be going, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go here anyway. Cause I am kinda curious. I wanna know what's actually down here. Yep, this is exactly where we needed to be. So what we need to do is we need to just go to the right here. And we just need to slash this grass. And there we go. We've got our tenth seashell. So now we can go back to the seashell mansion. And after we've done that, well, hmm. <laughs> we're pretty much sorted. Then we can go and get the slime key. So let's head back to the Seashell Mansion. We've got to backtrack a bit, but you know, I think we can do it. We're Link. We know, we know how this works. We were also right by one of the next dungeons there as well. That one, uh, I believe, is Dungeon 5 or 6, Catfish is more. We're not going to be going there yet, but the fact is we were very close to it. So it's just something to note for later on in the LP. I believe that's Dungeon 6, Catfish is more. No, it's Dungeon- no, it's Dungeon 5, because Dungeon 4 is Angler Cave, Dungeon 3 is Slime- yeah. Yeah, I'm- yeah. Yeah. Alright, back to the Seashell Mansion we- How obnoxious. Back to the Seashell Mansion we go. Kill this guy quickly. Nope, didn't have anything. Okay. Well, let's go and collect our next present, another Seashell. Because we're now at... Another! lovely thing. Alright, we found a secret seashell. That means we have 11 right now. Alright, so now it's time to go back to Richard, because he's going to let us get the slime key, which we can use to actually get to where we need to go, which is pretty helpful, because, you know, we got his leaves, his golden leaves that probably hold no significance whatsoever, aside from just being gold leaves. So yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed about him just kind of, you know, dragging us into this because, you know, my leaves are golden and, you know, I, I like my leaves. <laughs> Alright, let's head this way then, shall we? Head back down here, and then simply we just have to go across here. Eventually we will catch back up to where Richard is, and then we will be able to go and continue on. 
So, hi Richard, how you doing? So, the Trebion, I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Now move this box and you will find your reward. A secret exit. What this does is, well, it allows us to go to another location. Although first things first, I think we need to get whatever's in here. So first things first, let's just quickly, boom. Can I not pick it up? Oh, this one's, I'm too heavy for this one. Oh, damn, or am I? I, I don't know. Eh, eh. Eh. Nope, we have to push it. I'm dumb. I didn't realize it was a pushable. Okay. Well, we got a secret seashell. Another one. Because we've got a lot of them already. We basically found pretty much all of the secret seashells in Southern Coholent. So it's kind of hilarious. But, you know, we may as well just get ahead in, in life. It's what we do. Also, this guy I think is probably an enemy, but you know. Yep. I kind of want to kill it. I don't know how to kill those guys, though, so... Uh, okay, so now we're... Now we're in the pothole field. This is actually a somewhat dangerous location. Because, basically... There are potholes everywhere. The main game here is to basically find your way through. There are lots of ways you can go, and I don't know if any one path is better than another. Okay, so we need to find specifically the one right path to get through, which I'm going to happily kind of navigate with ourselves. Because you've got me as your guide, everyone. Haha. -ha. Alright, so we need to just quickly find our way through. Once we find our way through this area, it's all pretty much straightforward from there. Literally easy from there. Aha! Alright, we need to quickly go upwards to the right. And I fell. Whee! There. There we don't go. Can I jump over it? No. This is just the wrong way completely. Well, that's quite embarrassing, actually. Damn. Unless that wasn't actually the goal of where we needed to go. In which case, okay, that's cool. Oh, no, it's not. No, 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 we need to go this way. Because that leads us to this. And if we have our shovel... Boop! We collect the slime key. So now we can open the gate in a cuckoo prairie. So basically we need to go back through the pot field. Um, did I just say pot field? I meant uh, the pot hole field, obviously. Um, <laughs> I do not condone two pot. Oh, I thought I had the rocks cape on. Well, that's embarrassing. Uh, let's pop that down there. And then we'll jump across and, well, oh... Well, you can do at least a two-block gap jump, so that's pretty good. Anyway, I want to head back. There's nothing else in that field, so we're not missing anything out by going through there. There isn't anything we can collect. Basically, we've already collected everything we can from this location. So now we only have two things that we really need to do this episode. We need to head back to where the keyhole is and place the key into that keyhole, and then we need to actually find our way around to where this area is. And that's also pretty straightforward and simple. So basically all we have to do is go this way and head back downwards because we just need to go back to that one lake that we passed on our way to the castle. And we just have to jump across the islands that are actually there and we'll be sorted. Very simple, very straightforward, very easy. You see there's a little bit there you can jump across. That's where we're going. Let's go. Jump across. Move across, jump across again, and again. Just gonna quickly head up here, see what's around here. So this is way, this is the way back when you're done. That I think we can get when we have the power to swim. But we are here. We're at the slime cave. And also known as Key Cavern. So we're not actually gonna be going in here just yet though, because if we go up and left, we actually can get something that I just realized we can get. If you notice, that grass was in a, s a square, and, you know, when grass is in a square, it usually means something, so... Secret seashell. Yeah. 
Anyway, this has been the next episode of The Legend of Zelda DX Link's Awakening. If you're enjoying the series so far, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we're going to be entering the Key Cavern. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys.